Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, you know what? Today, I'm going to redefine a bear market. It doesn't mean lower lows and lower, lower highs means that we're in a bear trend or a bear market. It actually, we need different metrics to really determine if we are in a bear market with Bitcoin because it's not appropriate to say that we're in a bear market Right with Bitcoin because it's going to scare away people from investing. Right, we don't want that. We don't want people to. Well, I'm not. I'm not getting votes for that. But still, right. If I was getting votes, I definitely want to change that definition. Right, because well, I don't want people to think what is happening is reality. I want them to believe in a fantasy. <laughs> And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Today, we're going to be talking about, of course, I'm sure you've heard it by now, that Joe Biden, right, sleepy Joe Biden, is saying that, well, everybody who thinks we're in a recession, right, they're, they're all wrong. They're mistaken. It's no longer measured by two quarter, consecutive quarters of negative growth. No, we're going to have different metrics. <laughs> To determine if we're in a recession. Oh my God. Like, Joe Biden, you know, 1984 was supposed to be a fiction, not a handbook. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Just unbelievable. I can't believe it. It's, it's, it is absolutely ridiculous how... They are redefining a, a recession. I mean, it's all over Twitter, too. It's just absolutely hilarious, hilarious how this is, right? There's a, there's a nice one. I'm going to have to retweet it. Where, uh, it's, it's from Clown World News. Let's see if, if we can bring it up because, man, it was hilarious. I'm going to try to put it in the links in the description below because it's too funny. Can't play it right now, but yeah, it's... It's um, it's incredible how they're able to do this. I mean, and you know what? The sad thing is, I bet you a lot of people are going to believe it. A lot of people are going to say that this is true. It's no longer a recession, right? Stocks could be jump, dump, dumping down, but we're not in a recession, right? Uh, yes, I know. You know, people are defaulting left, right, and center. We're not in a recession, Right, um, people are can't can't get a job, but we're not in a session. This is going to be a fun one with uh, the 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 admin current administrations. Production costs has dropped about thirteen k right um, per Bitcoin, and you know what? I'm going to research this. I'm going to study how they came up with these numbers, um, and 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 figure it out because I'm a little concerned, right? Because um, Back in January, it was around 40k. Now, again, these numbers, right, based on sort of calculations, um, we want to quite look at both calculations. I think both of them are a little bit off. Uh, I think it was that's a little high for that for Bitcoin, and uh, I think JP Morgan's calculation is a little bit low, probably a lot low. <laughs> so we're gonna figure out what what's going on here. Um, because when we take a look at these two numbers, they don't they don't match up. Because like if you see here, it was easier to mine Bitcoin starting in January first first of January, right there, and it got easier and e it got harder and harder, right? It got harder and harder. So I want you to understand, if you buy a set of equipment based on the current hash rate, let's just say the hash rate is on January one, it's um. It's right now, in January 1, you say it's 168 terahashes. That's what it is right now, right? And you're buying your equipment. So you base your earnings based on that difficulty, right? Amount of hash power. Well, you've got a slight problem. <laughs> As more people start to mine, you get less Bitcoins. So what they tend to do is average what the, the hash rate should going to be further out. So that's what you, you do. You know that it, it, it goes up on a specific curve rate, uh, rate. So you come up with that rate that best 
case scenario of rate of the rise, and you can see you could probably drop off um, this dump here, right? And then just, you know, add this straight up curve, right? Whatever, even this dump, which you should count uh, as out because it's only temporary, right? And so that means you're going to get more Bitcoin for a little while. So yes, the value would go down, but really you should do an average as, on a steep curve, rising curve like this, see? Assuming and dropping this curve off, right? And, ri and rise it based on that. And so if you do that, right, or you do a, a trend line to the lower level, so that's fine. If you do that, you'll have an average price of where it's going to be uh, over, uh, over a specific amount of time. And that's decent, right? So it's, that's, that's honest, fair, right? It might not be 100% accurate based on, you know, the fact, factors that things move up and down like this, right? This, as this hash rate dropped, like majorly, it became very easy for bit miners to, to get some Bitcoin. And then it's quickly went back harder, right back on its trajectory upwards. So I really don't see how um, this is true, right? And I want to investigate this and see what data points the, uh, the uh, JP Morgan and company have to say. Because I know, I know, I know I shouldn't bother looking because never in history that banks have ever lied to us or cheated people. Right? They don't, they've never ever bothered Bitcoin. Like, for example, you know, it's not like JP Morgan, J, uh, Jamie Dimon came out and said that, you know, you shouldn't buy Bitcoin at the same time his company was buying Bitcoin and it was telling people that he would fire people for buying Bitcoin if they found out they were firing, buying Bitcoin for the, in their, their company. Yet, of course, they were buying it. Um, that's, that's never happened, no? No, 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 no. So, no, that's never happened. And it never will happen again, right? If, if you think it did happen, it won't happen again, right? They will never manipulate the price of gold, the price of any, or silver or anything. So yeah, these are honest banks and they're not going to actually do something really, really bad. All right, folks. Well, we know that that's, that's not true, but <laughs> we're just having some fun with that. Well, it's... Um, it is the way it is, right? Our world is full of manipulation. I'm going to be talking in the next episode about that manipulation in, in Bitcoin and how it's not affecting the alts. I just realized something. When I was looking at the alts and I'm looking at the, the Bitcoin um, dominance, I'm realizing it's dropping off, which is not exactly normal in this time, this bear market or it's not bear market. Not bear market. <laughs> not bear market. So we're going to be talking about that in tomorrow's episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that episode. This is going to be huge. It's going to be explosive information about the differences between the manipulation of Bitcoin and Ethereum and the manipulation, if any, that's going on in the crypto alts. alts. All right. I hope to see you guys there. See you tomorrow. Gee, peace.